so uh, my wife went somewhere. Let me show you. Let me show you the people here. You know. We just uh, film a little bit. I will film the people. I think it's quite interesting for you to see the people. Attends, je t'enlève le papier. Je t'enlève le papier, Paul. Tout enlevé oui. Ah oui, c'est à moi. Merci, merci. Excusez-moi. <rire> c'est pas grave. Il voulait, il voulait prendre notre chocolat. <rire> Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul Paul, viens ah. Ah. Tu veux celui-ci un peu Ou pas je vais terminer la glace. So you get the idea a little bit. Uh, you get the idea a little bit. You know, here is um, is the Paris most uh, wealthy district, most wealthy district of Paris, and you can see the people how they get dressed or how they walk. And it's kind of funny when every time I go there, I always kind of make me think a little bit uh, on one aspect because you have all kind of people, even though all of them have money, you have all kind of people. You can see some very wealthy foreigners who come here, and some of them they are very wealthy Chinese people and very uh, very wealthy uh, people from. Uh, from the Middle East, you know, it's, it's, it's quite interesting. And all kind of people who have different background and different education, but all of them, they have this, this, they have the money, they have the money, and all of them, they will behave, you know, the way they walk. They are very, you know, <laughs> they have this attitude, you know, the smell of money, the smell of money. <laughs> and it's kind of funny, I always, it makes me always wonder about, uh, my kid is, is hiding, always me, makes me wonder about, uh, happiness in life and what values money really has for you and um, what what commitments you have even though uh, you might have you might have uh, you might be wealthy or not wealthy what commitment you have toward the society as a whole and toward others you know it always makes me wonder a lot when I whenever I come here you know uh, it's kind of complicated you know <laughs> And you know, when I was in the countryside, I, I went to some place and I think they are, these guys, I saw some guys and they are really the French redneck. You know, the redneck, like in the US, some guys, I saw some guys, we visited some house. Usually, people who are not wealthy, they are always unfit. So they're always a little bit fat or they're always, uh, you know, you can, you can see from their body, just from the body, that they are not wealthy because they, their health is not good. Someone who is wealthy, he will take care of his teeth, he will take care of his, of his, of his, uh, he will take care of everything. Maybe let's finish, let's finish the chocolate, maybe first, and then let's move on. Uh, but someone who is not wealthy, you uh, always be fat, or maybe when he's young, he's okay. And yeah, you can see. It. In my opinion, uh, this, I can I can judge as many social class. You know, this traditional this guy uh, looks a little bit like my father. The guy is white hair, you know? young guy is different. Uh, but uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. You know? She looks very Jew, Jew. You know, this is girl or maybe Middle East. What? Let's go again. Oh, you finish this one, baby. So I finish it. Okay? You can go with him quickly. Give it, give it, give it. 
Bon, allez, allez, allez. Uh, Baby, uh, can I just ask you something before we go? Yes. Whenever you come to this district, okay, the Paris Mosuers district, uh, how do you feel? I like it. You like it? Because you like it. People smell of money here. But what's the funny part is they are all different, right? Even though everyone is rich, they have one common common factor, common denominator, you know, denominator common. And all of them are different. You can see some of them, they are traditional France, but some of them is more like uh, Chinese or Japanese, or, but they, all of them have so much money here, right? So this, I, I think it's totally a different world. It's a world in, a world in its own. Okay, okay, just go. Vas-y, vas-y. Most of these people, they don't pay tax here. Uh, they, have, uh, they, they go to Switzerland part of the year and see here. And they hate it when you film, so that's why I shouldn't film too much. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I feel. Uh, one thing for sure is I, I don't care. You know, I, it's not that my wife, she likes it. I, I don't care. I don't really like it. I don't really care. But uh, I don't feel jealous for sure. Um, I'm not sure even this guy has more happy than me or less happy than me, I don't think so. But at the same time, when I was in the countryside, I was always wondering for my kid, <laughs> I was always wondering for my kid, what kind of, what kind of, um, what kind of classmate do I want for him? What kind of environment, people environment do I want for him? Um, and I was thinking, it's not about money so much, it's more about identity. I was telling my wife, I wouldn't mind that my kids goes to goes with redneck. I wouldn't mind him to be a redneck, but she hates it. She's scared, like with my of my kid who comes and is driving the motorbike and shooting guns and this. She wouldn't like it, but I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind after all, you know. Nobody is better. Is it better to be here with the what we call in French the les bobo, you know, the people who are like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of complex. It's kind of complex because, of course. You become like the people who are around you. You become like the people who are around you. If you are surrounded by these kind of people, yeah, you will become like them. You will become like them. It's more likely that you will one day marry one of them. Or I, I, it, it never happened to me because I was always different for the better and for the worst. I have no regrets, you know, because uh, when I was a kid, I was in this kind of environment, you know. Uh, I never told you about it, but sometimes I was in the... Prince Charles School, you know. I was in the school of the, yeah, Prince Charles, you know, Prince Charles of, of the UK. I was with some guy like this, I remember very well, you know, top school. I was in the school where you had the daughter of uh, Clinton, Clinton daughter, she was in the same school. I was in this kind of elite school, I never told you about it, maybe one day, uh, but now you know anyway. And uh, yeah, I, I have some friends from there, but I never like, did it change me or did it, uh, did I feel, I never felt, um, yeah, I never felt, I didn't care. I didn't care about this. I never felt, I never felt that uh, good. I never felt so good. And at some point, uh, you know, when I was in China, in a way, I felt, I felt quite good because I didn't feel, I didn't feel this uh, social class, like social category of people that you can feel here very, you know, it's very, here it's very obvious. People are very, you know, and, I don't like this. I never liked it. I never liked it. Okay, man. I love you all. Take care, everyone.